on the beach is really good. I think I'll have sex on the beach. Sex on the beach? Yeah. Okay. Sex on the beach? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. I order a sex on the beach from Robin. Then I went ahead and I ordered the same drink from Sarah, I believe her name was. Because we kind of want to get two different bartenders making the same drink, see if they're consistent. All right, there's Renee's drinks. Oh, my God. Look at that. So two different bartenders <laughs> making sex on the beach. Me. Look at the color of them. Drinks aren't even close. I would be embarrassed if that was on my bar top. There's no excuse for that. I've never seen an owner enable more nothingness than Frank. So between no ownership and no supervisors, of course a bar is going to fail. I have an owner who's not providing you with the rules to be successful. Well, the rules are lax. There's a difference between no rules and lax rules. Don't play semantics with me, because you're just making semantics. excuses again. You're wrong. I'm talking. You're going to listen. OK. What do you think, Alyssa? I think that we need a little bit more authority. If people don't show up for their shifts, there needs to be consequences. Do people show up late now? All the time. Who? I think everybody. Abby comes in late. Kenzie comes in late a lot. Why do you allow that, Frank? People show up late all the time in a of bar course business. They I've do. been in bar business my whole life. I've been people in 35 show years. Up late all the time. Then you yeah, know. you know when they show up late all the time? When they work for guys like you. When they work for guys like me, they're never late. That's the difference. I think John's living in a fantasy world. If I were to fire every single person that came in late, we'd have no employees here. Where were you yesterday? Um, I didn't come. So you were supposed to be here yesterday, and you, you just chose not to come? Um, I didn't wake up. You didn't wake up? With Frank, you can pretty much just show up whenever you want to. There really won't be any consequences, as long as you're pretty. So you blew us off. Is that accurate? Yes. How do you feel about that guy? I was very upset. I wasn't it's nice happy to hear. At all. What did you do about it? Well, I'm going to do something about it. You're going to do something. Yeah, You're suspended for a week, but then maybe it'll be a day, maybe it'll be two hours. You look at her beautiful blue eyes, you'll melt, you'll succumb, no. and no. nothing will happen. No, it has nothing to do with her beautiful looks, all right? It has to do that when she comes to work, she gives me 100% When she there. comes to work. Yeah. You're and making excuses for keeping her. Good job. You're the kind of guy that they know they can blow off. That's not a business owner. Now you're going to tell me she's a great employee? No, I didn't say she was a great employer. She blew you off. Does it get worse than that? No. So is she a good employee or is she a lousy employee? Let's talk Frank. Frank? She's not consistent, so that would make her not a good employee. Abby's on thin ice, but I have a bigger problem with Mia. She's late as we speak and has absolutely no respect for anyone. Where's Mia right now? Mia's late. Oh, she's late. She's yeah. late. Mia shows up late today, which she is, will be fired. So you're going to be a boss, and you're going to, I want to see that. You will see me again. You fired. believe it? I'll believe it when I see it. Thank you. You don't have credibility. Disagree. They believe it when they see it. OK. When Mia finally shows up, she is four hours late for the start of her shift. I usually show in like 10, 15 minutes late, but lately, because it's spring break, everyone just starts to get lazy. Now it's time for Frank to keep his word. Is this real? Is he BSing me? Or is he really going to turn this business around? Mia, come on in. Frank is a hustler. He's full of BS, and the staff knows it. So they BS him all day long, and they manipulate the hell out of him. So what happened today? Um, I totally lost track of time. I just couldn't come in. So what happened yesterday? Same thing. Same thing. Yeah. OK. We had things to do today. We had training. We have staff meetings, and you have no consideration for me or any of your coworkers. Mm. Well, you know, all I can say is I tried to make it here on time. I really did. I don't think I'm special or anything. I definitely do get away with a little bit more, and people might get upset. But that's, you know, that's Frank's deal. I know he has a thing for blonde. I can't help being the type of girl he likes. <laughs> I don't know. You didn't call me. Your, I don't have no texts from you. I'll be honest with you. I love you. I think you are a terrific girl. You're my friend, but you can no longer work here. The Frank I know probably will hire me back, but maybe he needs some time to cool off. All right, All Frank. Right. You really want to play like that? Mia. I'm not joking. I'm serious. If you want to talk to me outside and be normal, Mia, so I will talk to you when this is done. Right now, I got business to run. So when the is over, you'll be normal and not be fake like you not are? Not be fake? Someone doesn't show up for work for two hours late every single day? A crowd waits to try out the Beach Bar's new menu, and the staff rushes to get prepared. For this stress test, 
I invited the key customers we need to get back. The spring break crowd is what most people think of from Southern Florida, but the fact is they're only here two months a year and don't have much money. The locals are here all the time and they've got the money. Hello. Here's some menus, ladies. Go, 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 come on. That wasn't right, you know that. That wasn't right at all. Dump it and do it again. Girls, are you doing okay? The better employees will rise to the occasion and do great, the weaker employees will crash and burn. Within a half hour, the kitchen and the bar fall behind on orders. Hey, Pat, how we doing? I don't know where these people are coming from. But Ticket time's running about 20 minutes. Keep moving. OK, the presentation on that, you got to get the limes in there. There were so many people that all just came in. Um, super overwhelmed. What else goes in there, Abby? Don't panic, Abby. Kenzie, I got three tables waiting on drinks. All right, you got it, buddy. Make that ticket, please. I'm messing up. That's totally way off. I'm, I'm great. Killing stuff on me. I'm getting you wet. What is that? I don't know what it is. I am absolutely hating this right now. I hate every minute of it. I wait 15 minutes in my gym. I'm going to start crying, Frank. It's easy to see who the weak link is, and that's Abby. Abby, you're not ready for this. OK. Jeff, you're behind the bar. Switch with her. Okay. So I don't know if you want to talk to her. You don't want to talk to her, but she could. No, right now, the business is more important than her crying. I agree with uh -huh. you. Good. Thank you. Who wants any beers? Anybody want beer? I can handle beers. It was overwhelming. They're all completely new drinks. This drink, step aside. Let Abby at it for a minute, OK? Yep. I'm amazed myself that I haven't fired Abby yet, and she's hanging by a thread. She's shown a little bit of heart by coming back. Now it's time to be a bartender. All right, Mike, let's see what we got back here. I mean, look at this, just tons of crap. This is one little section of this. Look at that, filth, correct? So Joe, is this rocket science to clean dirt off the shelf? No, I don't think so. I mean, wouldn't you think as a manager that would be one of the simplest of things that you would do is make sure the place was clean? Do you care about this place or are you just lazy? What's the deal? It's unfortunate. It would happen on my shift and I take full responsibility for it. Look at that rig. Look at that. How many times did you look down there and pull a beer bottle out of it? Are you smiling? Is this fun to you? Today is the first day that I noticed that. You know what? Then maybe you need to hire somebody who can see. Because if you can't see, you can't work here. Pipe down, player. What? I said pipe down. Don't be disrespectful, homie. Screaming and talking loud is not intimidating. Unless he wants his furniture rearranged. He needs to pipe it down. You're spending too much time watching a band and shaking around. Go to work instead. You want to okay. show him, we'll give you a show. You need to pipe down. This is why you're losing, because you got employees who have no respect. Whatever, yo. Look at me. Out of here, yo. Out of here. I am. Out of here, yo. You can't be serious. That's the epitome of failure right there. Look at it. <laughs> Just leave. Just leave, OK? I'm packing my up and shut the Good. Pack up. Your up. Police. One employee down. Let's see how many we're left with by tomorrow. I watched her scoop ice with a glass all night long in this thing. How do I know there's not glass in the ice bin? Don't you know better than that? Yo, ain't you just send me home? Talk to somebody else. Don't you else. know better than that? This is what happens when you scoop ice out of an ice bin with a glass. Now I have to clean out the whole freaking ice bin. I have to know that that ice bin is clean. The way I know it is I pour blue curacao in the bin, creating a blue dye. Now when that bin is clean and the blue is gone, I know my guests are safe. This is why you're failing. Because you have employees that either don't know what they're doing or are jerks. Nobody disrespects me. Don't let them walk on you. Crazy dude I've never seen before is not going to come in and talk crazy to me. That was the final straw, and that's it. Hey, guys, welcome. Hi. self seating so you can sit wherever you like. As Layla greets the crowd, the bartender's training is immediately put to the test. A Cosmo? Yeah. OK, sure. Exactly. What kind of a glass does a Cosmo have? Uh, it typically comes in a highball, right? A Cosmo does not come in I a mean, highball. I mean a martini glass. A martini glass. Tyler's a mess in more ways than one. We are, we are out of poor, uh, poor spouts, so. Hold on, stop. OK, stop. We're out of poor spouts. There's one right in front of you. Oh, would you take it off and rinse it off with sure. a soda gun? Tyler doesn't know his basic stuff. He would fail at bartending school. Hey, I'm really sorry about this. Sorry. OK, what do you, that's a Cosmo? Make it again. 
Man, we're not making fruit punch, bro. We're making a Cosmo. Every single thing that he did, there was a problem with it. I might be able to help him with it, but it's going to be a lot of work. How come you didn't garnish those? Um, Did you put a lemon or lime on those? No, actually, we, we don't have another station. You don't have another station? We only have two of them. So next time you know what you do, all you have to do is you put fruit garnishes and you sit them up in, in glassware. OK. But since you have them, but sure. you can't give it to them without it. Yeah, totally. OK, cool. OK. The placement of everything is really screwed up. None of it's mirrored, makes any sense. They don't have any independent stations. Absolutely. See? A proper bar has completely identical or mirrored stations that also keep everything within a six-foot radius. This allows a bartender to obtain any ingredient within a single step, saving time and increasing drink production. Why are none of my drinks made? Here's what I need, like, right now. I need kettle and tonic and um, Jose Caramo and pineapple. I need those, like, right away. I'm waiting about 20 minutes for this martini, and I got here, and it's just <laughs> terrible. Am, am I missing something to go in it? Vodka vermouth uh, with a little bit of that juice and um, okay, the good. olive oil. The staff finishes last-minute preparations for the relaunch. Welcome to Weber's new Ramban Grill. I'll get the Pantas Punch. A Mai Tai? Sure. There you go. There you go. Rock and roll. Come on, Tyler. It's not a science project, bro. It's bartending. Get in there. Go faster. The doors opened up tonight. The bar collapsed. I mean, Tyler is Two pineapple daiquiris, right? OK. But real simple. Pineapple lime, simple syrup, pineapple juice. That's it. Hurry up. People are waiting. I'm still trying to get familiar with those drinks. I knew how they made them pretty much right till they opened up the doors, and then I just want. So Tyler just can't do this. He cannot do the simplest no. of things. He's just not made to be a bartender. I'm pulling him the hell out of there. I think right now it's best if we move Tyler in a different position. Tyler, you're disorganized mess. Do you realize that? Sorry, John. What I want you to do is work the floor. OK. OK? I think it'll be good for him to have a place to start from, fundamentals, work hard, not feel the pressure of being a bartender. I'm excited to see what he can do. Welcome, welcome. Can I start you all with something to drink tonight? Has anybody gotten your drink order yet? Okay. Orders pour in, and the staff has trouble remembering the new drinks. Why is there no garnish on that? I need garnish on that. Here we go. More dollars down the drain. Got to get the recipes right. The staff are doing horribly. We got four different cocktails and two beers. Let's get the cocktails first. How long is it going to take to get the drinks? We're getting our asses handed to us. Throw that one out. You got to start over. That's the wrong ingredient. Put the drink on the bar and build it on the bar. I don't think Tracy has it. She's a complete wreck. Got to move faster, Trace. Hurry up. You got to go quicker. She can't get her recipes right. She can't make more than one drink at a time. I don't even know what that is. It just doesn't work when you have 20 people waiting for cocktails. You just made it. You got to know what it is. Tracy is almost single-handedly killing us behind the bar. Right, Tracy, right. I'm going to pull you. You can't do this, hon. You're sinking. I'm going to switch you with Courtney. I want you to go on a floor, pick up her station. I'm going to put her back here. We have to trade places. <laughs> them and then coming to find out that they're already made sitting over in the server station. Service breaks down and customers begin walking out the door. We had a table of 15 people walk out because of Tracy's lousy service. I don't care who she's married to. Either she's going to shape up or she's going to ship out. Do you see any food here? Yeah, Which doesn't it. matter because we don't have anything to drink once we have our food. We ordered food when Tracy was here, but we're not sure if it got put in. We never got a drink in 40 minutes. Yeah, no drinks. Dehydrate. Dehydrate. So I'm not a good mood. Tables aren't served. Tracy is failing. And Rudy's now playing rock and roll star. This stress test is a disaster. Well, guys, that was a stress test. Just so that you know, we had one table of 15 walk out. I had people really pissed off. They didn't get drinks. They didn't get food. That's why I shut us down early. I didn't want to piss anybody else off, candidly. One of the big problems was you don't know your drinks yet. Tracy, the fact of the matter is you are a lousy bartender. You're not a good server. Am I wrong? I don't have anything to say. Barry, do you think she can do it? I don't think she can handle this volume. Courtney, do you think Tracy can do this? From what I've seen, I don't think she can handle the pace that we need. Amber, can she do it? Not a night shift. I've seen these girls work. They're not superstars either. But point the finger at somebody else, you get the fingers point off you. You need to think about this tonight and determine if you want to be here. And if you want to be here, you got to be very different. Night 
clubs more than bars make most of their money in about 16 hours a week. It's going to be all about speed. So tonight, we're going to have a soft opening. We're going to put some pressure on these bartenders, and we're going to see how fast they can be. All right, everybody, come on in. Within moments, the bar is full of customers, and the orders start pouring in. Two Captain and Dice and three Greyhounds. Hey, what's the difference between a slammer and a shooter? I have no idea. I don't even know the names. The staff is not used to the high volume and immediately starts to crack under pressure, forgetting their new drink ingredients. It's the passion fruit, vanilla vodka, the lemon sour, and three mint leaves. Glasses first, set up, let's go! And reverting back to their old overpouring habits. Oh my God. Come on, Jen. These bartenders are feeling the pressure now, and it's turning into a mess back there. Look at this. Right? Get this together. Rinse this out. Clean this, guys. Come on. Recipes are meaningless. Liquor's flying all over the place. Workstations are a mess. Get the, even with the storm pour, get the better technique. You just spilled all over this cup. When I was getting busy, I just went back to, you know, my standard pour because of what I was comfortable with. Too slow. Let's go. Customers are waiting for drinks. A recent survey showed more than 50% of any guest that waits more than 15 minutes to be served will not come back. And I'm worried we're really going to start unraveling now. I have friends waiting, I'm waiting, so it's a little bit annoying. This man needs a drink! We don't have any right up there, do we? As the staff fights to keep up, Scott stands oblivious to the chaos behind him. All right, I'll take a picture of Urban and Coke. I said, are you an engaged owner or not? Yeah. Then I need you to move. You'll jump in, buddy. Let's go! Come on! Bartenders are starting to fall behind, and Scott doesn't seem to be doing the things that he should be to serve his staff and get him caught up. Do you already have a tab going with one of these girls? My pores are still off because I'm not used to it. No. The yeah. night rolls on, and there are no signs of improvement. Sweating like a dog in here. I'm back there pouring drinks, you know, as fast as I can, running my ass off, trying to pay attention to everybody. Just, it wasn't coming to me tonight. Do you have a drink menu? Uh, we do not, no. Sex on the beach is really good. I think I'll have sex on the beach. Sex on the beach? Yeah, okay. Sex on the beach? Yeah, yeah you got it. I order a sex on the beach from Robin. Then I went ahead and I ordered the same drink from Sarah, I believe her name was. Because we kind of want to get two different bartenders making the same drink, see if they're consistent. All right, there's Renee's drinks. Oh my God. Look at that. So two different bartenders <laughs> making two sex on the beaches. Me. Look at the color of them. Drinks aren't even close. I would be embarrassed if that was on my bar top. There's no excuse for that. Consistency on the part of the bartending staff is absolutely of paramount importance. You're not going to give a customer the same product. You're burning bridges before you've even crossed them. Extension of the bank. Just hold it on to yourself so you don't have to. You've got six tickets up. And that is definitely not 90 degrees up and down. I know. It's going to be sideboard, so just fix it. Don't forget, hold the force spell. Gotta pick up your face. And that was definitely like a 10, 12 count. Everything that I've shown them has essentially gone in one ear and out the other. Overpour, underpour, overpour, overpour, overpour. Our vision doesn't lie. Their drinks are completely all over the place. And there is a phone book's worth of tickets sitting on service bar, and no one's taking charge. Run out, rest of it. What are you, what are you doing? Uh, oh, just tequila, tequila sunrises, okay. I've been waiting for a drink for like 10 minutes. What's table 10? Pressure at the bar mounts on veteran bartenders Sarah and Robin, and newer bartenders Bree, Carolina, and Talina. Oh, where is that from a long time ago? Obviously, I, I, would, I didn't take it recently. You better get it over that table. Who's working service bar? Hey, um, are you? You guys should know who, where they're going. Yeah, I need to write them down. No one knows who they are. It's there, they got to be someone. The new girls uh, are pretty much it up right now. Bree and Selena are very slow. They're forgetting orders. They're making orders and then forgetting to bring them out. So it's messing everyone up and it's bringing us down. No, I don't know. No, don't ask me. I have no idea. I'm paying attention to what I'm doing. This, I don't know who's writing this. You guys need to write your names on them and table number. The rookies, I just wanted to shove them. Just get the out of my way. I didn't remember that being in the job description of having to babysit and also have to run a bar myself. You guys are writing it down, right? Everything's screwed up over here. Like, because there's... Sarah, what? These ones have to be made. They've been waiting since you ordered them. Sarah and Robin are at the bar. They're really messing up. Us newer girls, we're trying to get things done too. They're making their own drinks, getting their own stuff done, and kind of ignoring us. I'm 
pissed. They're not telling you. Talking with each other as a team, like they need to have each other's back. But this is just chaos back here. The problem with this bar is it's every woman for themselves. And a bar can't work that way. Bars are teams. They support each other. In this bar, they're killing each other. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.